What is going on? Welcome back. It's your boy here again, Jimmy Dean. And today I want to talk to you guys about two things. First off, how to kill a camper. Tip number five. Get your kill streaks. I mean bombing runs, assault drones, warbirds, Securing B. missiles. All these are very effective score streaks that will help you kill the camper. You can't hide from everything. Tip number four. Use frag grenades and stun grenades. These are some of the most annoying things in the game, but they work effectively. You can stun them, slow them down so they're not prepared for your attack. Frag grenades, if you can't blow them up, you can at least get them out their spot and make them an easier target for you to kill. Tip number three, run the UAV with threat detection. I mean, what's easier than that? You can see your enemies through the wall. If you know where the camper is, what direction he's facing, like look here. I knew they were there. And if that's not an effective way to kill a camper, then I don't know what is, because there's nothing in the game that prevents you from being seen through the wall. Look at that. I knew they were coming. Tip number two. Just kill his teammates. If you can't find the camper, or you can't get to the camper and he's still dropping score shoots on you, the best way to neutralize him and get your own is just kill his teammates. You waste a lot of time and effort trying to kill him when you can just kill all his teammates and then make it rain, which takes you back to tip number five all over again. Tip number one. Do not feed the beast. Let me say this again. Do not feed the beast. The camper cannot be effective if you don't keep going over there and letting him kill you. And if he's getting no action, then eventually he's going to come out of his spot and you have the perfect opportunity to lay him down. Just like he's been doing you the entire game. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the best way to kill a camper. But, spoiler alert, I'm going to tell you why you still can't kill me. Let me tell you about what I call the six laws of camping. Rule number six, know your gun. Find you that one go-to gun that works perfectly with your playing style. Me, I'm a mid to long range killer, so I prefer the AK-12. It's consistent and it drops dudes like bad habits. And once you get used to the gun that you know is the best, then you start experimenting. But until then, stick with what you know and lay him down, baby. Just lay him down. Rule five, perks. What does a camper want to be? Stealthy. My must have perks are low profile, stay off the UAVs because we know it's the easiest first street to call in, and cold blooded. If I'm shooting you from a distance, I don't want my name popping up above my head, making me an easier target. Because I know if you can't see me, you can't beat me. Rule number four. Know your kill streaks. Know what they're good at. And learn how to use them in the most effective ways. Like take this assault drone. When I get in that thing, I'm like a major league pitcher. When I get on the mound, I gotta be able to throw the strike. I gotta be able to throw the knuckleball and the curve. Because if you ain't learned by now, once you shoot your rockets, or you can control which direction they go in. And the direction I'm sending mine is right at my enemies. Rule number three. Do not die before your kill streaks roll over. Establish a pattern that keeps your kill streaks rolling and rolling and rolling. And if you know you're that one kill away, and there's a paladin outside on the other team, don't be retarded and run out there and get laid down 25 points away from your warbird. Just be patient. Good things come to those who wait. Rule number two. You must establish a no rush zone. Preferably in a high traffic area where you know your enemies are going to come. Set up camp, pinch your tent, light your fire, and break out the s'mores. 
and let the other team know that this area belongs to you. As long as you know every direction they can approach you from, you can't be surprised. Stay on top of your game, player, and lay them boys down. Rule number one, don't get caught slipping. Use your mini-map. If your enemies don't appear in the mini-map, your teammates will. You can see where your teammates are dying at, you can see if they're flipping the spawn. Because for one thing, you can't count on them to watch your back. You need to know where they're at at all times, that way you know where your enemies at. Trust me, it's just that easy people. The game is simple. Watch the map, be patient, put in work. What more you need to know? Alright players, that's it for today's episode of Camping 101. Don't forget to use those tips and tricks. If you're a true camper, make sure you abide by the laws. I'll sit back and enjoy the rest of this gameplay. Your boy finishes out 62 and 6. You know it, putting in work like usual. Don't forget to hit that like or subscribe. Leave your boy a comment. Let me know if you like the tips and tricks. And the true camper. Follow them laws, player. They're written for a reason. I'm out. Peace, love, and hair grease. One. Securing Bravo. Warbird awaiting orders. Friendly Warbird in the air. Enemy taking speed. Friendly assault drone in action. Enemy care package incoming. Securing B. Friendly UAV now. Securing Bravo. Enemy assault drone incoming. Bravo secure. Friendly bombing run incoming. Charlie. Our UAV is online. <laughs> Friendly bombing run incoming. We lost Charlie. Securing C. Friendly Warbird in the air. Paladin requesting assistance. Our UAV is online. We're winning. Securing Alpha. Friendly UAV above. Warbird decloak sequence activated. Warbird support requested. Paladin dropping in. Securing C. Friendly assault drone in action. Good news.